Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Gelderland. There. Right, I'll lift that one up. And then I'm going to turn around and we'll see if it does pretty much the same out this side. Because of the way the plow is, the angle of the plow, it might not quite be exactly where I want it. But I'll drop it down like that and then scroll forward a little bit. I'll lower it down. Like that's over a bit more now. It's 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 moving the other way. I don't want it to do that. Alright, it is actually working. It's going out as far as I want it to on here. So I'm just going to very, very slowly crawl up the edge of the field so that I can make this perfectly square right the way along the side. And then when I've done that, uh, we can just go and do the bit in the middle. Just these little bits here, I think. Just one bit there. I'm I'm not going ridiculous fast. I'm going at a reason. I am going at a reasonable speed though. And I'm going to take this right on across the other field as well. I mean, this this other field isn't actually all that big, but there's a just like a little bit there. And if I go out just a tiny bit too far on this corner, actually I can't because there's a fence right in the way. Oh no, the fence has got no collision on it. So I'll bring you to that point right there. And then I'm going to stop. I'm going to leave that where it is. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drive down over to this bit. I don't really care what happens over there. And then I'm going to, like, I'll do something with that corner in a bit. So we'll bring you down over here. And it seems like the best side to get lined up is actually our left-hand side. If we get that side lined up, the other side seems to sort of follow along a bit better. So I'm going to bring you down to here, and then I'm going to uh, just adjust that over to the point that I want, which is there. And then I can set this one on here. And we drop this in, and hopefully, yeah, it just goes to the very edge of the field here. We go across on a new bit of field, and it also fills in that little tiny bit there that was previously missing. I don't think there's anything else that we're going to want to do. We'd like the, the rest of that field, it does have some bits that are not quite lined up further down. And we could always do a strip up through it, but I'm not, I'm not actually going to worry about that. I do like to have... I have this thing about wanting fields to be perfect. If the fields are, like, laid out in a square pattern like the ones are on this map, I kind of have a bit of a thing about wanting the fields to be perfectly square all the way round. And I do spend a lot of time <laughs> trying to get them all laid out to be perfectly square. Um, which, for this particular series, is probably not going to be very useful. So, I'm not going to do that this time. I can turn off the Allow Create Fields now. Get rid of that. And, no, no. Oh! Alt-P, and you jump straight into your screen so you can go and get change. I did not know that. Shift-P, we go in here. This is what I actually wanted to do. Is I wanted to go there, and then I want to just quickly zoom down here. Because I want to just tidy up this corner. I've got like two corner bits there. I don't like that at all. I, I hate it. I, I really, really hate it. So I'm gonna just going to take some grass right there. And uh, there. And I'm just going to kind of bring that out like that. There. Just round off that corner. I'm not going to round off any other corners. Just that corner because then it's kind of like neat and tidy. Tidy and neat. Job done. It's good. And now, I'm no longer allowing the creation of fields, which means if I run down here, actually, I'm going to also do Alt-T. I'm going to turn that one off, and I run that round there. Why aren't you there? It's because it went round that corner too quickly. So now what I do is if I run up through here, nope, let's get a little bit closer to that side. There, I'm going to want to plow, because we got potatoes growing in that other bit of field, but I'm actually going to get rid of those. 
because I don't want to put potatoes in this field. I want to put potatoes in a different field. This one, we're going to grow barley in this field because I want barley. And I actually want quite a lot of barley, so we're going to start with this field. across here over to there and I can just do this bit manually this isn't going to take us very long and plus it's a chance to use the golden plow again and I really like this golden plow I think this one is absolutely fantastic and <laughs> okay 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 anyone who's never seen it go and look on YouTube and have a look at speed plowing because that is what we're doing now we're like proper speed plowing and I have seen the videos of the speed plowing and it is a glorious sight. I have mentioned it before. I know I've mentioned it before, but it's something that I don't think I could ever get really fed up with watching. I, I wouldn't want to watch it all the time, but honestly, I, 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 I'd I, like to go back and, and just watch a little tiny couple of minutes of speed plowing here and there. It's awesome, and they do literally you're drifting the tractors around the corners with a plow on the back. And the plow's in the ground, like you're actually drifting the things as you go round the corners. So we are proper speed <laughs> plowing right here. I'm missing bits everywhere. We're going to have to tidy this up. There's no way I'm going to leave this just like that. Um, that ain't happening, sister. That's just not happening. Um, so we, we're definitely going to need to just sort of, there, we, we, we grab that, tidy that bit up, and round we go. It's a terrible mess down this end. <laughs> But this is what they do with the speed plowing. They go racing up through like this. And it is absolutely insane. And then anchor around like that to go and do the next pass across the field. It's beautiful. It is absolutely a thing of beauty. And you just if you've never seen it, I know that some of you have now gone and watched speed plowing because I literally begged you to go and do it. And I'm doing it again. I am begging you, go and watch speed plowing. You will not regret that decision, right? There are many things that you might regret going and seeing on the internet. There are all kinds of things on the internet that... You wonder how anybody could actually look at those things and retain sanity. And then you also then have to contemplate the fact that someone actually took the trouble of making it in the first place. And that makes it even worse. Speed plowing is not one of those things. Speed plowing is pure wholesome fun that involves tractors driving at absolutely insane speeds with plows on the back. I'll let your imagination do the rest. Well, your imagination will do the rest right up until you actually go and see it. You need to go and see it. You need to do this. You need this in your life. I, I'm, th th there's no two ways about it. This, this is something that you need. You, you absolutely do. It's not a, a thing that you think your life may become slightly richer because you, you have witnessed it. There is just no question at all in my mind. It is something that every person needs. Such as the air we breathe and, you know, the food we eat. The, the, there are certain things that you need in life. And speed plowing is one of them. I don't care if you disagree with me. Everyone is entitled to an opinion, even when that opinion is wrong. Go and see the speed plowing. Wait till after you watch my video, though. You know, just saying. I mean, I, I don't like to dictate that people should watch my videos, but, you know, you're here already, so you may as well stick around until the end and then go and see the speed plowing. But, I mean, if you really, 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 really have to, then fine, go and see the speed plowing. You, you need to do it at least once in your life. Uh, there's a lot of trees over there, considering that we've already removed all of those trees. Can you see them over there in the middle of the field? I'm pretty sure we already took care of those trees. Apparently, we didn't take care of them quite well enough. Now, I'm hoping that the plough will now be able to go up through and remove this field full of potatoes. Why were the potatoes planted? Have I still got out-of-season stuff going? I thought I got turned that off again. Seasonal growth. Oh, no, I have uh, seasonal growth. Yes. We have seasonal growth. That is absolutely fine. Days per month, one. Fixed visual month, off. Snow, yes. Crop destruction, off. Periodic plowing, on. Fieldstone, off. Lime, off. Weeds, off. Everything is perfect. 
Everything is as it should be. Okay, off you go, plow person. And eesh. Yeah, okay. That little bit of, like, plow line that we've got up through there, that shouldn't interfere with anything. It might there on that little kink on the... S no, that shouldn't interfere with anything. At least I hope it won't. Okay, they can go on and do that. We next want to... Actually, what do we want to do? We need to plan this out a little bit. I'm wanting to get the stuff for pigs, but I do also want to get a few other bits and pieces as well. Like, I reckon at field 37 over here, this is currently, what, this is planted now? Yeah, that's planted for potatoes. Um, this one is planted for wheat, and this one is planted for barley. So we're going to buy those two fields. We don't want anyone else doing anything with them. So we're going to go to farmland right there, and field 12 we will buy. And field 11, we will buy. And I do want to do more potatoes. So they've already been planted for me, so I don't need to worry about them. And then we've got those two over there. And we've got field 8 over here. So field 8 is something that we need to... We want to go back to the map overview. It's not field 8, it's field 7. So that's 10, 12, 14, uh, 37. 36 is being disappeared. And those two are being plowed up. And then they're going to be something different. Uh, we've got field seven. It's a little tiny strip of potato right there. But if I plant it, if I use a direct drill to do the planting, then we'll be absolutely fine. Uh, in the middle of field nine, there is a pylon. So I kind of want to get rid of that. I also want to join these two fields together here, and then I want to get eight, seven, and nine, and I want to join those together as well. Like, I, I want... Three, uh, the big field here and an even bigger field here so that we can start using some bigger machinery. It means, though, that we've got a little bit of work that we're going to have to go and do to make that work. So I'm going to go there to Janssen. I'm going to visit. And we're going to take a mosey on down this way. So first up, let's get rid of that tree. Right there, we've got the pylon here. I can't do anything to get rid of that. Um, I'm not going to anyway because it's going to make it interesting if we've got at least a couple of bits in the map that we kind of need to work around. Uh, this gap, right, oh, this is actually a ditch that we're going to need to fill in. It's going to make it a little bit more challenging, but I've got an idea of how I can do that because the leveling function doesn't level upwards. But I still need to be able to level it because I want to turn this into one great big field. And that is something that I did say that I wanted to do in this series. I want big fields with big machinery. And we've already got some big-ish fields, but I think we need to have more bigger fields. And although this is Netherlands and we, we do need to make sure we've got plenty of drainage, we can afford to get rid of some of it. This is not something that you're going to want to see, though. So I'm just going to wander around and I'm going to get rid of all the trees in between these couple of fields. I have one more tree here. And these, this ditch here between field 7 and field 8 is actually, right, it's fairly level all the way along. So that's going to be an easy one, I think, to remove. It's the other ditch that's going to be slightly more problematic. It shouldn't be too much of an issue, but it is going to take a, a bit of patience on my part to go and do it. Uh, nothing there that I need to worry about. And everything on this side is the lower edge of the ditch on the opposite side so i don't need to worry about any of that so i've gone all the way around now and gotten rid of most of it there's a little bit up in this corner and it's kind of like there's a few extra trees that have been planted here just out on the corner's edge also i want to just go up because like you got this tree right here if we point at that one is length 14.3 meters diameter 2.7 meters oh, i thought it told you how many tons of wood there were in it as well so like that one there is 1.2 meters in diameter that poplar um it's quite a big old tree now if we have a look here you've got a little bit of a ditch there the road kind of comes round, but we've also got these trees here that are quite close to the edge of the field. Now, the field here it goes up sort of to that point. And, well, it's kind of like pretty much straight back from here. So we'll try and work our way straight backwards. 
Okay, we don't need to go straight back. But we could, it's still, we can square this one off. It'll get close to the road, but it won't actually hit the road. I do need to kind of like fill in the ditch right there. So we can get rid of all of these trees in here. See? This is, this is like working with nature, this is. We're, we're, we're helping nature by removing the trees and then that the grass underneath can get some sunlight. And that's what nature really wants, is, is to give plants some sunlight. And that's what we're doing. We're removing the trees so that the plants can have sunlight. And that's really good. So we're really kind like that. Nature is very grateful. And we're doing our bit for the environment here. I don't know how anyone could ever have any complaints with what I do. There's an elm tree gone. There's another tree through. There we go. We get rid of that one. Three more right there. Look at all these trees we're helping with. See? I'm just I'm I'm just a thoughtful being. Get that one and that one there. Excellent. Right, uh, there's another tree here. Now, doesn't that look better? There's a nice open space. There's plenty of sunlight here. Right, I don't see how anyone could have any complaints with that. Like, the, the, isn't that not is is that not beautiful? Is is that not wonderful? So we go in here like this, and I'm just going to ignore that bit for a minute. Uh, I can come back to the other. So I've got a ditch that runs down that side. I'm not going to get rid of that ditch because we do need ditches. This is the Netherlands. We're, we're supposed to have ditches. Uh, what we might do is we might try and build a ditch that goes down that way. Um, I don't know if I can do that. Let's have a look. We're going to landscaping, and here we'll see if we can make our own ditch. So I've got the leveling bit. I can't make that smaller than it is right now, so we're going to have to make a really big ditch, I think. Uh, if I take that level in there... I have at least got the right level for it. So I bring that to that point there. Now I'm just going to make that like really super strong so it goes faster. And then all I want to do is I want to bring this up. And I want it to run along here. So it's going to go like that. And so the ditch will go... In a line along here to the edge of the road. So now I want to bring it over this way. Like that. That's not dropping down deep enough. So I have got a little bit of the ditch right here that we're not going to be able to put quite as deep as I wanted to and also you can see I'm uncovering the edge of the road right there we'll ignore that bit might be able to smooth something off of there but it's it's rather messy here on this bit and bring you in there okay so I've, I've done that bit there that that's kind of like we, we've got a little bit of ditch going on um, I'll do this here, and I, I'm going to just try and bring that up a bit. Just to cover up that edge of the, the, the road right there. Excellent. And then I want to go with the smoothing function and just smooth it down from the edges of the road and everything. I'll do it a bit bigger like that. There. Right, that's not brilliant. It's a little bit rough, but it's... It'll have to do. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we just won't look at it very much. How's that? But actually, this ditch here has come out far better than I hoped it would. Th this little bit on this side is a little bit wider, but that's all right. We've, it's essentially just a pool. Um, so we, we've got to build ourselves a pool as well. Then I'm going to want to go here, and that edge is actually the edge that already exists. So I'm quite happy just to leave that, and then I can bring this edge in like that, and that's filled in on that bit. Excellent. 
Uh, this bit over here, I want to fill in this a bit. So I want to start up there and essentially just do that. Fill up this edge a little bit. Like that. And we'll do the same here. So we're going to have like a rounded edge on our field just here. And you know what? I'm actually thinking it would be better if we just kind of like fill this in a bit. And all we'll say is that the ditch here is piped underground. Because that way it's still, it's still kind of believable, isn't it? Is that believable? I, I think it's believable. And then that looks a lot neater and tidier around the edges there. Plus we can also get the, um, the proper edges on our field as well, which is what I'd like. Uh, those trees aren't actually there anymore. So next I want to go here and just start filling this in. So I'm going to work my way right the way across the field here and fill all of this in. There we go. That one's all done. And then I'm also going to want to fill this one in. Now the one up this end. Oh, I'm going to go and cut that tree down as well. Uh, the one up this end is going to be a little bit more difficult because if you have a look, it's slightly raised in the middle a bit. If I start there, and I bring this through, I'm also now able to just delete the few potatoes that were there. Uh, I can also work my way up here to the point where it was raised up. And this is this is the, the one bit where I'm sort of thinking that I may end up with some... See, I, it, it's sort of dropping down there on the side. Alright, I think I have done that as well as I can. I've smoothed, I've leveled, I've smoothed some more, I've leveled a bit more, and I think this is about as good as we're going to get all the way down through here. So, the next thing that we want to do is we want to jump in here, and I want to go to farmland, I want to go to nine there, I want to buy that one for 200,000, and I want that one there, I want to buy that for 117,000. That is now all ours. So we want to go and turn that into a field. You right here. Have you... It's ploughed the field and somehow ended up over here. That I am genuinely confused at as to how it managed to get to there. Unless I pressed a button and did something slightly wrong somewhere, and, and that's what messed it up. There is a little bit of potato here that it still hasn't ploughed in. And there was also another little strip up the top somewhere that it hadn't ploughed in. But that's fine. We, we can, it might have been trying to turn around to get that. But just confused itself as to how because of the whole trees in the way situation. It wouldn't surprise me. We know what the hired help is like. A bit dense and utterly useless. And there's the other bit, little bit of potato that it missed. Was that bit. And it might also be just because of the, the plough not fully dropping into the ground. And now I'm going to go up through here. So if we can just get the edge of this field marked out. Then that's it then. That's, that's kind of like the big job done for this field that we've got. We can then get our equipment in and out of the field and uh, all of the other... The main, the main problem with getting the equipment in and out is that this is the gateway here. So I may have to come up with something a little bit creative on how we can make that work. Um, but if I go to Alt-C like that and I then go Control-S like this. Just click on that one. I don't need to do anything else on that, I don't think. Uh... Show lines is on. Right, the lines are going that way. I want them to go the other way. So uh, I need to do this and then I need to... Wait, where is it? It's in this one. And you rotate 90 degrees like that. There we go. Now we've got the lines on the right side. And I want to... Actually, I'll drive up to the other end of the field. Because it's the left-hand side that we want as our marker on the edge of the field. So if I drive up to this end 
and then I drop in from here and we use that to sort of start scratching our line down through. This bit here is going to be interesting with the very big machinery. We'll see how that one pans out. I'm going to probably get close to... Actually, you know what? I just want to have a look at that a second. Let's just go over here. Because if you look, you can see it's slightly raised right there. See that raised hump? That's no good to us. We don't want that. So if I go here, and then first we'll just go to that bit. And I'll take a level in there. And then I can just kind of raise it up a little bit. And, and give that the same level on this outside edge right here. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the field come out a little tiny bit further around there. And I'm going to go with painting. And I'm actually going to give it rock on, on underneath this one because I think that's going to fit with it better. There. So we've basically just got a big chunk of stone that is sticking up into the field. And that's what this thing has been built on. That's why it's on concrete pylons as well. And also, it's going to be a lot easier to see. I mean, look at that. That, that, stand, that stands out beautifully. Oop. That's a bit glitchy, isn't it? There. Uh, bring that one up. There we go. This is, this is beautiful. There. Because everything now that is sticking up above the level of the field is this giant stone. Look at that. That's fantastic. Let's make that a bit bigger, shall we? That comes out around there. A bit there. Okay. Right, there's the giant stone. Then I'm going to go with this kind of grassy texture right here. And I'm going to do a a bit around the edge. So that we don't have fields going anywhere near this. Which is going to be a lot easier for big tools that we want to use. Yeah, I'll round it off a bit. That was a bit pointed on the end. There. I like that better. If we can't quite get in there with the really big stuff, then so be it. I, I don't actually mind that. Um, this one over here. Oh, that's way off. Right. I need this to be kind of like there. So I want to alt uh, this way. And that edge of the field is there. Right, is that the actual edge of the field? So first up, I want to drive all the way back here, and then we're going to be driving all the way down to the other end. So I want to just lower this in here. Everything here is going to be ploughed up, and then I'm going to... Oh, X, and I'm going to join... Right, that does look like it's on the edge there, so now... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.